we are back for the Morning Gospel Food Again show with June Devonshire, Master Chef winner, and Gemma Roten and Marge Roten. We're not the plums today, are we? We're not the plums today. I think pe people will realise we've done a double whammy. We're doing two. In, we're doing two <laughs> sessions in one. Let's watch it. Let's watch it. <laughs> Shows, shows how perceptive I am. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, the whole premise of this show is to get people back in the kitchen and, and cooking. Um, around, obviously, our charity, Seed, which is um, Eating Disorder Support Services. But also me reaching out to you was because of your passion around getting people back into healthy eating, looking after ourselves, the connection with Celiacs UK as well, which is something that you have to deal with on a say deal but it, but it is something you have to manage and deal with isn't it yes, it is it is i mean my son was diagnosed with celiac disease when he was two i'm now celiac uk ambassador at home i only cook gluten-free yeah. and today we're going to do a bake but i'm going to show you the gluten-free version and you're doing the not gluten-free version so um you know it really doesn't matter and one of the reasons i love this one is because it can be it's like a breakfast bar come easy cake thing so it's one of those if you've got teenagers in a house, 24 seven foods, <laughs> can eat it whenever. How, <laughs> many, how many kids have you got? Four. Four. Like we are. Four. So I've got four, um, but my eldest has been in London during lockdown. So we haven't seen him really for a year, which is really quite sad. And then I've got three at home. So my daughter is at home with her fiance um, and my 22 year old is at home and my 18 year old and my husband. So there's been six of us here all during lockdown. Aww. You deserve a medal. I decided I love my family, but <laughs> no, I've been so fortunate, obviously, because I'm the manager of Seed, obviously, for work reasons. I've been allowed to, you know, travel back and, and keep yeah. connected with mum and because I live alone, they're like my support bubble. So we've been really fortunate throughout all of this. Nice. Well, we haven't done fun. this for a while, have we? No, Cooked together. Not. I don't know if we ever have. I think, yeah, I I think when when yeah. when you know, it's so house. nice to like do this together as well because obviously when we were going through what we were with with my anorexia battle you know this this would this just wouldn't this would not this would be like a, <laughs> a, a battlefield you know yeah. so to be able to and I think that's one thing that we were encouraging this is obviously this show is for everyone but yeah. if anybody is struggling like it doesn't need to be like that because it, it's about the connection between being a mum and a, a daughter rather than letting the eating disorder take over so we're, we're, we're loving it so far aren't we yeah definitely she's on the ball so where are we starting then i think that's what it is food is all about sitting and eating together and it doesn't matter whether you're eating fish and chips on a beach or whatever the best food comes from sharing it with the people that you love and your best yeah. friends and your family and you've almost got to forget what that is because it's what this is and that's that experience of sharing food and that's the love we want to get across isn't it that's why we call it falling in love with food again amen to that Lovely. this is one of my i always feel guilty about doing this because it's literally we're just going to throw everything in a bowl mix it together and stick it in the oven <laughs> Do you remember from episode one, I said my favourite form of cooking, you just throw it all in. There we are, we listen. This is my so I'm going to use gluten-free plain flour. You've got ordinary plain flour. You could have yeah. used stuff raising flour, but because my recipe is all based around gluten-free, I use plain flour and add in baking powder. So we've right. got 250 grams of plain flour. Yeah. Coming in, we need the baking powder. Just coming in. Yeah. <laughs> so I, two teaspoons of baking powder and three tablespoons of cocoa powder. Yeah, just one minute, Jane. They're only up there. <laughs> We've caused two seconds. My dog will step out. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Jan. Oh, no. You've got a nice armpit shot there. <laughs> Wonderful. The baking powder to get oh, it out. on my nose. Right. Sorry, dogs are spattling to go out. Yeah, but this is real life, isn't it? <laughs> This is how it is. <laughs> She's found it. Oh, we're in. So two, two teaspoons. Three tables, two teaspoons of baking powder. Yeah. And three tablespoons of cocoa powder. Three tablespoons of cocoa powder. We've got that. You made that one, yeah? Yeah, which is, yeah, yeah. with a tablespoon of cocoa. You know, some. Got it? Yeah. So just put it all in together. Here goes. Okay. Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> if you've got that on the end of your nose, then <laughs> the sugar in. Oh, no. Sorry. Oh, 
chocolate, this, sorry. Have you got chocolate? This is the chocolate. chocolate. Yeah. Okay, chocolate. Is, has it got sugar in it? No, not yet. No. Okay, it doesn't matter. Fine. And then we got 75 grams of soft brown sugar. Yep. That's, 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 that's that one. <laughs> that one was. <laughs> What's that one? Some baking powder. Oh, I want powder. Two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. Right. Here we go. What are you looking for? Just teaspoons. I can't see. <laughs> well, that's okay. <laughs> I need. To, if you were next to me, I'd let you my glasses. I. I, I, I where are they? Oh, I, I do need glasses, but but they're not there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go get me glasses in a sec. Okay. We're in. And the sugar. Yeah, you're 75 grams of sugar. That was 75, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. We're not going to use butter in this recipe. We've got 250 grams of natural yogurt. Whoa. Right, this is, right, oh, well, it's half a pot. Something I use quite a lot in baking actually, gluten free, because it stops it being quite so, the yogurt or if you have a bit of cream cheese or something, it stops it being quite so bitty and grainy. But it also works really well if you want to make a healthier muffin or a slightly healthier cake than having some with loads of oil and butter in it. No, just half. Okay, there you go. <laughs> She's not sure about this. You're looking so worried. She's not happy with me because I haven't weighed it. No, oh, right, got you. The pot. <laughs> right, you've got your three bananas. I've got three bananas because they're only small. Okay. If you've got those big ones, two should be enough. Yeah, I'm a banana. Here you go. And I'm just going to mash it up in the one where the yogurt came out. Of, we don't need any more washing up than we need. Just with a fork. Mash it. This is, um, I do this sometimes with, you know, you get bananas. I don't know whether you get them, but I my kids go through stages where they eat bananas and then I buy them and they're going almost black in the bowl. So you can freeze the banana whole in the skin and then just take it out and use that in this recipe if you want to. Do you know eating them? It's like eating the creamy ice lolly. Oh, yes. Yeah, well, just blitz it up. If you've got a food processor, you blitz it up and it's the easiest, quickest ice cream in the world. Oh, that's right. Oh, my. Uh, if you pick splits up frozen banana, it's really easy to do. Right. So we've got our bananas. Yeah. Mashed. If there's a few lumps, don't worry too much. You're going to put those in. Two eggs. Potassium. Okay. Full of potassium and, and goodness. Yeah. Two eggs. Okay. Just plonk them in. Yeah, just plonk them in. And then just mix it together and you'll end up with what looks like a thick batter. Are you doing that with a spatula? Yeah, just with a wooden spoon or a spatula. I tend to use a wooden spoon for this because it's a bit stiff. A spatula is a bit bendy. You've got a wooden spoon. And you can see it's quite a, can you see? Quite a wet batter, just like a cake batter should be. You said to me when we were deciding about um, the recipes, and you were so right, that desserts and sweets are the one that people don't ordinarily think to, to, to home bake, do they? No, I think so. And I, I think, um, the thing is, it's, it's, it's so easy to do. And actually, yeah. if you've got young children, you want to cook with them. Something like this is brilliant. Yeah. Because it doesn't matter if they get a bit messy or if things go a bit haywire. It's quite a forgiving recipe. Um, you just mix it up and away you go. Does that count for 36 year old women as well? Yes. <laughs> Will you forgive me, mother, what? if I get a bit messy? <laughs> <laughs> right, have you got your chocolate chips? About 125 grams of chocolate chips. Right. So I'm going to put about two thirds of those in and keep a third just to sprinkle on top and just push them through as well. 
So I've basically got a very, just a normal cake batter. Getting there, aren't I? Yeah, all mixed in. Nearly. Into your baking tray. We want it so that you can't see any of the white flour, don't we? Yes, you do. Just so it's all mixed together, Gemma. If you've got a food processor or a mixer, then use those or an electric hand whisk. But I, I know a lot of people don't have, and it's very easy. I never had. When I went on MasterChef, I just had an electric hand whisk and one of those hand blenders. Yeah. And it's very easy when you've got all those to write recipes and forget that not everybody has that stuff. Yeah. Can and it puts people it? off. Yeah. That's the last thing you want to do. You want to make food that's accessible. So I'm just going to put that in my well buttered, greased baking tray and then sprinkle the rest of my chopped chips over the top. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yay, and you can use milk or dark or whatever chocolate you like. I've got milk chocolate because we've got dark chocolate in the cake, so I think. How we do? Oh, that's great. And just sprinkle your chopped chips over the top, the rest of them. There we go. Can you see? Like that. And then that just goes in the oven, 180. I think your pan is a little bit skinnier than mine, so yours might take a few minutes less. Right. Um, there we go. Can you show me that would be? 180 for about 15 to 20 minutes, usually. Is it good? Mm. That's the best bit, fighting over the spoon. Did you ever do that cooking? <laughs> I know. I was lucky though, because I came along quite late. I wasn't a mistake, I was, I was planned. But there's, just, just to be clear, but there was quite a big age gap between me and my siblings, so I never had to fight. <laughs> oh, you got, <laughs> my children be so jealous. Right, so I'm gonna put this in the oven and we'll be back in a minute when they're cooked and we can show you what they're like. Amazing. Oh, well. So we've taken it out of the oven. All right, right. Nice. we've let it cool. Daddy Oton is, is saying not already. Cool it's not that cool yet. Here's a taste test, is he? He is indeed. <laughs> he is indeed. <laughs> yeah, I'll need all of that to taste. Might <laughs> have a slice? Because it's your cake's best when it's warm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's not cooled down enough yet? It's still. Mine's not. Mine is a bit longer, I think. But I'm going to try because I do these things. My favourite is apple apple pie crumble with custard. That's a hint, I think, Jane. Apple pie crumble. His, his mum can do it for him. Is that what that was? <laughs> we can do that. I do like. Right. Oh, mum. You ready? Are you going to try and turn it? Oh, I don't know what that. Is that? Oh, no, it's the turn again. Give me a bit. Oh, oh the chocolate's going to go funny on the top. Turn it over. Can you just do it without? Oh, look at that. Sorry? Oh, come on, let's try it. Oh, no. <laughs> Mum's panicking. She doesn't think how is it going to turn. Oh, no. oh, turn Here we go. Right. Here. Right, so finished cake. Look, and as I say, if you've got some bananas that you are, you don't know what to do with, put them in the freezer um, and then just peel them off. They go all black, sling them in a blitzer or mash them up and serve them with this and you've got the best banana ice cream with your banana and chocolate cake. Oh, I was okay. <laughs> just cut a slice. You don't have to take it out like that. Yeah, we can just slice it. So we just slice. You can slice it in the tin, it doesn't have to. Um, Mine is probably too hot to slice, but if you're anything like me, I'm really useless at waiting for cakes to cool down enough to eat them. <laughs> they actually always taste better when they're a bit warm and gooey. Right, okay, okay. Oh, so, no. cup of tea, Gemma. Oh, Sorry, what, what, what? Cup of tea. Cup of tea. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And ooh, let me have a look. Okay, it's my um, 
A slice. Oh, chocolate. Oh, no, And chocolate cake. Oh, oh, oh it's it's about it. when it's <laughs> you have to eat it warm. <laughs> this? <laughs> oh, whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. oh, it's amazing. <laughs> like, give it a taste and tell me what you think. Yes. That's it. It's still Even a bit hot. Even lunches. Um, what's it say? Just for the size. That's so nice. That's so nice with the natural yogurt as well. I know you haven't got butter in there, but I actually think it's um really lovely because you've got the bananas in there. Yeah. Yogurt. So I think it works really well. But you like that? I love oh, it. Yeah, the, the apple comes real strong. <laughs> <laughs> Message like we're doing apple crumble next week. That's what I have a banana every morning, but so uh, I am. So now he's now he's gonna demand a banana chocolate trivia. Yeah, <laughs> very, very nice. I have a teenager standing behind me hovering. What, what do your tribe think? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, but that is such an easy one to do, isn't it? That is so easy, and even the ingredients aren't difficult to get. Exactly. Well, thank you so much, Jane. You're welcome. She's well, covered in chocolate. <laughs> um, um, I mean, thank you for putting up with us. Well, for one, um, for two, for giving us scrummy food, and three, for just being fantastic. And we can't mm. wait to do the next one with you. I know, we've got some fantastic ideas, haven't we? It'll be really exciting. Oh, Enjoy you. your lunch, your cake and your frittata. I was going to say, lovely to meet your mum and dad. <laughs> oh, Bye, you. See you there. Never had dessert before. You know, best we go now, all right? Never, never had dessert before. Oh my God. Can you believe him? See you all.